Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install Lineage OS on your Samsung Galaxy S10 Exynos. This tutorial will work on the S10e, the S10 and the S10 Plus. Um, make sure you are using the Exynos variant, not the Snapdragon, because that's um, a big difference. So, like you see, this is a Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10. So, I guess to I guess let's get started. So first of all, this is I just reset my phone. It's not nothing on there except the usual bloatware, which is not going to be automatically installed on Lineage OS. So what you have to do is you have to go to settings, scroll down to about phone, software information, and tap on the build number for a few times until so you see developer mode has been enabled. Then you have to go scroll down until you see developer options and you click that now scroll down and you should see oem unlocking this should be off and you should enable it once it's enabled you have to plug your phone into your computer using the usb-c cable and you have to and you have to allow the data to be transferred and um, scroll down until you see Android system and this should be on transferring files so on your Windows computer um, you should see your phone and if you have an SD card you should see card so what you have to do is you have to go to the files which will be in the description and copy Magisk Manager to your card so um, so like you see just make a folder on your phone um, I just call it AP and this should be empty it should be empty of course no oh, sorry camera is doing a little weird um, I have to see these magic manager and TWRP you have to drag them to this folder and then you should copy the lineage OS to your SD card. So this can take a while depending on your computer, your phone even, your cable. Um, it should, in my case I'm just using straight from USB Type-C to USB Type-C. So this shouldn't take that long. So on your phone, you have to unlock it and let me zoom out and go to your Samsung folder and then My Files. And okay, if you have to give it permission to your storage, of course. Okay, so in My Files, you have to click SD card and go to your AP folder that you created. If it's not visible, it, and it could be that it's on your internal storage, and there's the AP folder. Um, sometimes that happens, don't ask me why. So in your AP folder, you should see, and you should click the Majesk file, click settings, and click allow from the source, and then go back, install. And then you have to go back, do it, and then open the Magisk Manager file. And you should cl click install, install, select and patch a file and allow it to your phone file storage. And then you should go to your SD card, again to your AP folder, and you should see, click the TWRP file. Now this is going to take a while. Busy with our tar file. Is of course not so fun and. Because if you do a double, you should have installation failed and one should succeed. 
So go to your download folder of your SD card and if it is not in here, go to your phone and there go to downloads. And you should see Majestic Patched.tar. Copy it to your computer. So Majestic and just save it on your computer. Now it's back to our phone. Turn your phone off. This will be the last time if everything goes to plan, of course. And you have to plug your cable out and press the Bixby and volume down button. And then keep holding. Do not press the power button and then just plug your phone in. Bixby, volume down. And then you should see this. Then you have to long press the volume up button. And then again, volume up. So then, you sh it should restart. And it should start erasing your phone. When that's done, just volume up. So once that's done, you have to go to the Odin program, which is also in the description, of course. And you have to select AP, AP, and then select your Majestic file that uh, in the correct folder, of course, um, Majestic patched dot tar. And so what you have to do is you have to disable your automatic reboot here, disable, and click start. Um, you have to wait a little, of course. Okay, it has installed our TWRP. So now you have to restart the phone by holding the power and volume down button for a few seconds. And then immediately press volume up and Bixby and the power button. Keep holding. Keep holding, do not stop. Until so you see Team Win Recovery Project and swipe to allow modifications. So now what you have to do is you have to go to install and go to external SD. And you should scroll down and you should find where we saved the Lineage OS zip file and you have to click on it. Then swipe to confirm flash. Now it's basically installing the Lineage OS on your Galaxy S10. This can take a few minutes, um, depending on multiple things. Um, the CPU temperature will be high, don't worry. Yes, my phone is really hot. Um, it, I don't know if it's really accurate or not, but what I know is that's pretty hot. Let's not make a Note 7 in here. So, the reason that I actually made this tutorial was because back in February, I was looking for a tutorial to get lineage on here. And there weren't any good ones or they didn't include any important steps or anything like that so I after three months of trial and error I finally found how to install lineage OS and I decided to share it with you guys so you guys don't have to go through the struggle that I had to go through and so here is a decent tutorial and so now you see done and you have to click reboot system and click swipe to install TWRP app. Unplug your phone. Click the button, the power button again. You should see this weird error message. Ignore it. It's just just ignore it. Problem solved. And then you should see this. After your phone has booted up, you should be able to configure it 
in the Lineage OS and Lineage OS setup. So you can turn on your mobile data and such. This is the S10 Exynos, it's a great phone. Just had like a lot of trial and error to be honest, but I'm gonna connect it to Wi Fi. But since it's terrible Wi Fi here, I usually just use a hotspot from my laptop. These are all your preferences, of course, you can, yeah, basically that's the end of the video, I mean, you have lineage OS on your S10, it took me a while of trial and error and I kind of screwed up installing the wrong thing. Your in display fingerprint sensor will also work with Lineage OS, of course, which is fantastic. Because seriously, they figured it all out except the wide angle camera. That's actually like the only thing that isn't working, and voice over LTE. Everything except that works. You can get it to work. Your my angle, your white camera, your ultra white camera, um, and just using an external application basically. Okay, finally, you can start. Here's your phone. Ta da! Thank you for watching. Leave a like, please. See you soon.